This is Andreas with Sleep Better Mattress Gallery, and I'm going to do a quick video on inflammation uh, and sleeping too hot. Uh, everybody knows that if you heat something up, typically it's going to expand. Uh, the same thing is with your body. When you work out, um, uh, your, your muscles will expand because they're getting hot. People don't know that a calorie is actually uh, the, deg uh, the degree of heat that it takes to burn, uh, 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 burn sugar or something like that. I forgot. Well, at any rate, uh, when people sleep too hot um, w uh, and your core temperature gets too warm, what happens is your muscles uh, will tend to expand. Um, and then you put more pressure on, your, uh, your, on whatever the, uh, the injured area is. Now, if you ask your friends that have had uh, like a, a shoulder injury or a tendon issue, especially tendons or uh, joint problems, they'll typically tell you that they like it cooler. Uh, cooler will make uh, the, uh, the, the soft tissue around that particular injured area uh, cooler and uh, blood flow will be easier. And uh, I, I don't know why, but just do some research online. Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to diagnose or treat. My job is to find the correct mattress that deals with your issue. Now, what I do, because I've had ankle issues, uh, I've, I've, uh, I'm getting a little older, so I've uh, damaged myself a little bit. I take ibuprofen. If you look online, ibuprofen, uh, you're supposed to take only two to three pills. Well, uh, I, lo I looked online, talked to a nurse, and she said uh, for inflammation, you have to almost take 1,000 milligrams uh, if you're over 200 pounds. Unfortunately, I'm way over 200 pounds. But at any rate... <clears throat> you, if you um, um, if you're going to go to bed and you have inflammation problems and, and you sleep hot, t uh, uh, my suggestion uh, or talk to a doctor is take the ibuprofen about a half hour. It's got to digest and get released. Uh, there's it, it's crazy that when you go to sleep, uh, all the food that's in your stomach will actually go straight to storage. It doesn't actually uh, uh, metabolize uh, for. Uh, it does, it doesn't metabolize the same as if you're awake. But at any rate, um, if you sleep too hot, what's going to happen is everything's going to expand. And if you have uh, nerve issues, well, guess what? And especially when you're laying down on that in, uh, injured area, you're just adding more pressure. And it's obviously, it's going to hurt more. Uh, one thing I suggest is uh, I know that people uh, love to throw covers all over them. Uh, like a security blanket or like when you were a kid and, you know, your your mom threw a bunch of uh, blankets over you. Well, uh, one way to uh, train yourself is just slowly, uh, don't do anything cold turkey, just start taking off layers at a time and get yourself to the point where you are uh, sleeping at your normal regular body temp. Uh, because if you throw a bunch of covers over you and you, uh, uh, you know, you sleep warmer than the 98.6 degrees, well, then you're going to start inflaming things and start making things uh, uh, bloat or expand. So that's one way to try and get pressure off your joints. Um, and if, especially if you have bursitis or uh, neuropathy, things like that. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call and I hope this helps somebody. Thank you.